Okay, be honest with me for a second. Have you ever tried to move a box in CSS and it just said no? Okay, but why does this matter? Just picture this. It's the early 2000s. People are laying out web pages with HTML tables, like actual table rows and cells or layouts. Then came the float era, where we floated devs left and right and used clear fix hacks just to make things not collapse like a dying star. CSS layout used to be pure chaos. So developers begged for a real solution. See, your website can have the best code, fastest backend, but if your layout looks like a pizza someone stepped on, people won't care. That's where Flexbox and CSS Grid come in. They are your layout toolkits, the GPS for your boxes. No more guessing, no more praying to CSS gods. Let's start with what is Flexbox. So Flexbox is like lining up the stuff in a row or a column. It's great when your layout flows in one direction. Think of it like a train. The boxes are the cars and Flexbox keeps them connected, spaced and aligned. So to provide flex in your layout, you just have to do one thing. Just set the display setting as flex. And with that comes many other properties which you can set. You can just set the flex direction as row, which is the default, or as column. So your lineup will change. You can also justify the content to center, to end, or start, and there are many other options. You can set the gap in between the components. Whether you want to give the row gap or the column gap, it depends. So there are many properties you can set with flex, few we have just discussed. With that, you have align items, align content, align self, and many others. Just explore this and you'll get to know how wonderful Flex is. Now let's see what is CSS Crit. Now imagine you are arranging furniture in a room, not just in a line, but across the whole space. That's CSS Crit. Grid gives you rows and columns. It's like having a blank canvas and you are placing things exactly where you want. To apply the grid to your layout, you just have to set the display property to grid. And with that comes so many other properties. Normally, it will look like a normal block element, but you can actually set how many rows or how many columns you want to give to your screen. So grid template columns and grid template rows do that. You can provide the values in pixels or in FR. FR is nothing but fraction of the screen. So it can be divided into as many fractions as you want. So one FR by three FR means three parts will go to one section, one part will go to other section. So how many values you give in columns or in rows, that many columns and rows would be created for you. So here we have two values for the columns and three values for the rows. So we'll be having two columns and three rows on the whole page. We have other properties also like gap, which we had in Flex. We can also align items here using justify content, justify items, and all those stuff we have already seen in Flex. With that, Grid has so many other things. So Grid is perfect for full page layouts, image galleries, dashboards, or anywhere you need structure and freedom. But how to choose whether to go for a Grid or a Flexbox? So you are building a layout, you stare at your screen and ask, should this be a flex or should this be a grid? Or should I give up and just use old methods? Don't panic. Here's how to choose like a layout ninja. So ask yourself, is my layout in a single line like left to right or top to bottom? If yes, use flexbox. For example, buttons in a row, sidebar menu, navigation bar, etc. would require Flexbox. Or do I need rows and columns working together like a spreadsheet? If yes, then use CSS Grid. For example, page layouts, dashboards, image galleries, and all these things. But still, if you are stuck, here's a cheat code for you. So you can ask a question, can I use both together? So let me tell you. Flex and Grid aren't enemies. They are dream team. Use Grid to design your page layout. Then use Flexbox to organize the pieces inside each section. It's like Grid gives you the skeleton 
and Flexbox gives you the muscles. So to recap with helpful analogy, Flexbox is like lining up books on a shelf, but Crid is like designing the bookshelf itself. So use Flexbox for flow and Crid for control. And don't worry, everyone struggles with CSS at first. From rookie projects to enterprise apps, a layout that works on the first try is the closest thing we have to magic in front-end development. So you want to level up your CSS layout game? We have got you covered in our front-end development course, and we are diving into it in our upcoming webinar. Just check the link in the description to join. Thank you.